Now, these parallel worlds are not worlds existing in the same time and space. Each world has its own version of time and space. This is why this view or this interpretation is more accurate. Even though the Copenhagen interpretation is widely accepted amongst physicists and is taught in schools and universities. It's just that a lot of people don't want to believe that because it doesn't feel like everything's in a superposition. So I was contemplating on this and I thought of a helpful analogy that can help explain the difference between the Copenhagen interpretation and the many worlds interpretation. So let's say you're in a casino. The Copenhagen interpretation is this. There is a slot machine and you see one result. All the others disappear. The many world says you're part of the slot machine. All those results happen. There's a version of you that sees each one. Now, a lot of people don't want to believe this because it goes against their experience. They think it's woo woo. But this is literally what happens. This is what you'll experience when you go close to non-dual truth. Now, the fundamental question that's unanswered in quantum mechanics is this role of consciousness. What is consciousness and what role does it play? Well, let's take a step back. If we're talking about the many worlds interpretation and there's many different versions of you because all these possibilities are already there just in different parallel worlds then there must be some underlying observer behind each and every world. You can't say that you're just one version of those many different branches because branches are happening so rapidly. It's happening like a trillion times per second anytime there's an interaction. And these interactions are so small, it could be a neuron firing. So why would you say that, okay, you're this version and now you're that version? That's like me saying, okay, instead of this picture, I'm that picture. But now I'm this picture. How can that be the real you if it's all just inert pictures? There must be some underlying observer that is constant throughout all of the pictures. After all, there has to be some unchanging consciousness to perceive the change. Otherwise, you can't perceive change. And this is why consciousness is the truth. It's consciousness that's behind the wave function. It's consciousness that's behind the superposition. It's consciousness behind the code. It's consciousness behind everything. Because consciousness is non-dual, everything has to exist at once. That means that all worlds are existing simultaneously, which is what the universal superposition is. That is what the universal wave function is. Everything is happening simultaneously at once. And consciousness is underlying all of it.